floor. You got beat, and I don't like losers. I'm a winner, and I'm going to stay a winner. And Bob Armstrong, you go find out. Bob, you know the, the man over there blabbing his mouth with a hood on his face made a bad mistake. He attacked the bullet from behind, not man enough to go eye to eye. And he says he don't like losers. Well, I, just, I guess he don't have any mirrors in his house because every time he looks, he sees a loser. You're going to pay the price, brother. Nobody attacks a bullet from behind. We're going to get on it one-on-one. -on -one. And when it's all over, I'll take that sock off your head, and I got a nice place planned to put it. And that's all I got to say. I'll see you tomorrow night. Be going. North Carolina headlined by that special challenge, Bullet Bob, the Southeastern heavyweight champion, uh, against Mr. Olympia tomorrow night in Pensacola. We got underway. I tell you, this is uh, the special challenge match. Uh, down the ring, one half of the Southeastern tag team champions, Brad Armstrong, and his opponent down in the ring. Uh, one part of the Midnight Express Incorporated at 224, the junkyard dog, Norville Austin. Dickies, demanded pinball bells, lost the titles. Norville wants him back one-on-one -on -one. today on television. We're seeing that. Well, it's a main event in anybody's arena, but overtones of personal food in here, and uh, it's being done right here on TV. Brad Armstrong down at the time, and Norville Austin pounding away. Got uh, Armstrong out at ringside as well as other members of the Express. Watching with great intent. Boots the midsection. Armstrong retaliates. A couple of boots to the midsection on Norvell Austin. Takes his man in the ring. Oh, beautiful drop kick. What a nice, what a nice position he was up there in the air. And caught that man flush underneath his chin. Norvell Austin says, hold on a minute now. Hold on. That was too much to take at one time. All those feet can really... Put some damage underneath your chin, Charlie. You're I've right. talked a few of them, and I've given a few, but at the same token, Norvell Austin's the one that just got it now, and he's complaining. Not the most senseless. Brad doesn't underestimate him either. No, not in not one bit. Side headlock by the junk job dog. Norvell Austin in uh, going after Armstrong, taking the match to him, snap mare takedown. He makes himself a dangerous adversary, this Norvell Austin, because... Not only does he know how to wrestle and has held important titles before, but he is a street fighter himself. Loves that ghetto type of style of fighting, and that's any way you can get it, brother. That's his motto. He's had it now. He's been edged on by his cohort. Oda Austin. Got these people riled up here at TV, but Brad Armstrong is hanging on, climbing that rope, coming back like his father. Got that Armstrong fighting blood on him, look at him go. None of those maneuvers are almost the same, Charlie, just like you said. Armstrong. And uh, look at that by Norvell Austin right back at his man, I tell you. Norvell Austin, oh, good backbreaker. Right on the side, uh, almost right on, over that kidney. Right uh, out of muscle, the external bleach, they call them. Oblique. Oh, beautiful fine uh, body press. Two counts oh, almost. It came close to him. These people are riled up here at TV, and they should be also. This is an exciting match. Two great wrestlers in there. Great condition. Street Fighter against the youth and the admiration of... The Armstrong clan, Brad Armstrong. Hanging on. Present time, one half owner of the Southeastern Tag Team Championship. He and his brother. Speaking of uh, Norville Austin being a street fighter, you'll look at the street fighter tire being uh, sported by Rose and Star, yeah. uh, two members of the Express. You know, any given day, any given time, any of these wrestlers in this area can uh, come out with that action. Ken Lucas is one of them himself, just recently won a 15-man elimination tournament. Won himself a lot of money. He's a fighter. He calls it Lucas country. Armstrong being caught now in that front face lock by Norval Austin. Austin cutting off the uh, blood blow to the brain, but Armstrong caught on to it and drove him into the corner. Back to the other side, Charlie. Watch it, Brad. Oh. The veteran Norrell Austin uh, making his move. 
Oh, my brother. Boots right to me. Oh, he's got a pin, Charlie. He's got a pin. He's got it. Oh, we got a pin. He's got it. He's got it. Come on, the lady. Count three. Count off, Stark. Count of three. And, uh, the ball is the longest match series of the Rovers, Charlie. Stark. I don't know if it'll go down officially in the record, but... No, uh, Dick, but... I'll tell you one thing. Those shoulders were down. They were hung, were hung in there. Well, I can't blame his ball for doing what he did, but he did it, and it's done, and... Nothing, nobody's starting this match over again, so I guess we'll just have to say it's over. It is, uh, uh, Black doesn't know what, uh, trans what are you calling it? No okay. contest. Okay. He's throwing it out, Charlie. He's throwing the match out. He didn't see anything. No contest is what he's saying. Hey, what is that there? That was no referee.